Hey everybody, I just want to do a quick video of the mods I've done to my kayak that I bought uh, towards the end of last season. So I haven't had it long. I've taken it out about three to four times now, I think. Um, but I wanted something cheap because I didn't know if I was going to uh, like kayak fishing. So um, I went out once with my brother with one of his kayaks and wanted to get my own. And so I wanted something cheap. So I got this for on on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 150 bucks. They go new for around 300 a little over. Um, so if you're looking to get into kayaking but don't want to spend a whole lot of money, look used or get uh, one of these uh, Lifetime uh, Tamarack 100s for uh, right around 350 or so. I also have the Pro now for about uh, 450 and uh, that one has a few added uh, features like a, a better seat and everything. But anyway, uh, to get into the stuff that I've done up to date, uh, the first thing I did, and they all tell you to do this, is I did a new uh, seat because uh, the old seat, you just basically sit here and then there's a backrest that uh, attaches to these. Um, I got... Um, this uh, stadium seat from Academy. Uh, this was a $50 stadium seat. I got it on sale uh, at Academy for $14 because it's COVID and nobody's going to football games or uh, baseball games. So these were way marked down. So um, the cool thing about this is the width uh, is really wide. So it bridges the gap perfectly. And now there's plenty of room under there for, uh, I usually put a, a tackle box under there with my lures and stuff. Anyway, so this is uh, really cool. It's a really wide seat, so wide boy needs a wide seat. There you go. Um, another thing, uh, my kayak is a little dirty, and, uh, and my shop's a little messy, so don't shop shame and don't kayak shame because that's, uh, that's not cool. So anyway, um, uh, another thing is this is a... Um, retractable clothesline and you ask why did the heck do you have that on here well uh, if you've ever been kayak fishing you know what a pain it is to pull up your anchor and have all that wet line just kind of uh, falling all over you it goes in your lap whatever so what this does is uh, you pull out all the line um, and you clip it and tie your um, your anchor line to it and let it retract back in and so now when you bring your anchor in it keeps it nice and uh, together and I have just have a little carabiner here that I clip it to my anchor with. And uh, also, it's right here by my anchor trolley, which I installed as well. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, that keeps you where you need to be as far as where the wind is. Um, so this has been a lifesaver. $10 on Amazon. One of the best things I've ever done in this kayak. Um, I did install some um, outriggers because, again, I'm a big fella. And this, uh, the outriggers, uh, if you don't know what those are, just um, uh, Google search kayak outriggers and you'll see it. These are homemade. I made these myself. Um, obviously, they're not in here. I made them where they can quick disconnect so I could transport my kayak without them on there because it goes on top of my Jeep. So that's really important. So, But I'll do a video on those another day. Uh, but the biggest thing I've done... Um, is my fish finder uh that's that's what i just finished doing and the reason i want to make this video is because there's no good videos for this kayak of how to install a fish finder now this fish finder um it's pretty inexpensive it's not i didn't want like a three or four hundred dollar fish finder on 150 um dollar kayak so uh, i actually got this fish finder from my in-laws uh over the holidays and you can pick it up on amazon for right around 100 bucks i think and uh, it is sonar. Um, it's a depth finder, which is helpful because I want to know how deep the water is so I know where to fish. Um, uh, I, I, it's got some pretty good reviews, so we'll see. Um, but uh, I'm excited to get it out there. But So it's about the size of a, a large cell phone. So all I did was um, – oh, and another thing about this is it's battery-powered, so you only need one cable. So you don't need a 12-volt power source. You just have one cable, and that's for the transducer. I'll show you where, how I'm on that in a second. So all I did was screw this uh, this claw arm that you would put your cell phone in and put it on your dashboard or on your windshield. And I screwed it into a board here and put it under these bungees that are um, used for the uh, storage hatch here. And that's not going anywhere. Um, it's nice and tight. And so then I just took the cable and I um, just ran the extra up under the seat here, which there's a ton of extra. I'm not sure why it's such a long cable. But anyway. So I put it up under the seat, which is another good reason to have storage here. But um, <clears throat> let me bring you around here so you can see my a little bit of redneck ingenuity here. Uh, I kind of want to just show you guys what I did because uh, there was no good videos on how to do this. But I just got some half-inch electrical conduit and um, made this arm here. The reason I use electrical conduit is because it has uh, really easy bends. It's not like PVC where it's 90 degree angles. It's It's got nice uh, gradual bends, but it still goes 90 degrees. So uh, that's why I use electrical conduit and it's uh, just as strong or stronger than PVC. Um, I think it's like schedule 40 or something like that. Anyway, and so 
Uh, so I made this arm, and I just I just screwed the transducer to the end here, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. Um, I've got this little clip that it rests in that's uh, just um, used to mount um, the conduit and keep it on the wall. I used it to rest my uh, transducer there, and so it came back. And so the problem here is as you get towards the rear of the kayak, it gets wider, so you can't just swing this down. You need to be able to pull it out and swing it down so we can go uh, completely straight here. And so the what I found to remedy this is, is this piece right here, this little six inch piece here, is actually a pipe inside of a pipe. I don't know what application an electrician would use this for, but uh, it just has some O-rings in there and it just it allows you to pull it out uh, and it stays in its, the, the, the base stays in its place. And the cool thing about this is it takes a, a pretty good amount of force to be able to push it in and pull it out. I'm always moving my kayak there. And uh, so that was perfect for me because I needed something that could telescope and move, but yet return back to the side of the kayak. Uh, I just mounted it with a couple of worm gear clamps and a screw on the end so it couldn't fishtail. And so then the only problem I had was when I pulled it out here, it wanted to keep going uh, this way, right? So I want to be able to swing all the way back. And when you're paddling or in some current, that could be a problem. So um, I, just like this clip here, I mounted one up here. And so now it can't go past here, and it's going to stay straight. It won't go uh, anywhere past straight. So, um, you, you know, I can paddle, I can troll, do whatever I want to, and it's not going to go anywhere, um, but it's uh, it, it will fold back up and rest in its little hook there. Um, but the coolest thing about all of this, all that aside, all the awesome Brainiac ingenuity that went with this, the coolest thing about this is it is completely removable and the reason that's so cool is if you've ever put a kayak on top of your jeep or top of your car or whatever you know that things like this can't stay up there they can get damaged they can come off you want the least amount of uh of stuff on your kayak when you're traveling that's why i made these quick disconnects my um outriggers and that's why i like a foldable seat so i can just uh fold that down when, uh, while i'm driving but that's the coolest thing about this is I can I can take this out and put it in my Jeep with me. And then when I get to uh, the lake or the, the pond, I can pop that back in, run the, the cable up to my uh, readout, and it's good to go. So anyway, uh, tell me what you think, you guys. Um, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to know how to get into kayak fishing, let me know. If you have any comments for me and have any wisdom you'd like to share, that'd be awesome too. But um, that's that's my con uh, contribution to the interwebs for this and uh if you think uh i can make uh this better in some way if there's something uh, an idea you have to make this better let me know but until then you're you are welcome to steal this and this will work with uh, pretty much any transducer that you will use in any fish finder you will use but anyway uh you guys stay safe uh have a good fishing season and uh god bless you